to my channel hi guys welcome back to my channel today the tea is real 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 grab your pillows grab your chairs grab your goodies and let's dive in for the past two weeks we've been discussing doubts we've spoken about its definition and we've spoken on what doubts about and today we are speaking on fixing doubts I know I'm sure if you guys remember, but let me refresh your memory. We spoke about doubts having pros and cons. So therefore, if we are going to discuss how to fix something, I'm thinking that you're on the same page with me that we'll be focusing on the negative parts or the cons of doubt. Do you know when you're going to the grocery, most people create a grocery list. So take some time, list your doubts out. When you're finished listing this out, let's go through them one by one so step one list your doubts just like you're making a grocery list try to find short phrases or one word to describe your doubt step two we are going to go all the way back to primary school so do you remember when we were in primary school when we came to writing creative writing we would have to do get a word or get a phrase and put it in a bubble or cloud and from putting it in that cloud, we get different ideas on how to dissect this word or phrase. So that's your doubt. We're going to put your doubt in that bubble. We're going to see it where they could change. We're going to see it whether it's really a doubt. We're going to chase. We're going to decide whether it's something that we could go further in and expand on and really find a real reason behind us having that doubt and you can either just throw it away so that's what you're going to do to fix your doubts when you list these things now you are going to think and create ways in which you turn this out into a positive so let's see my my lack of hips remember that whole thing i spoke about hips hip, hips last week right so let's talk about that so I could I could have done two things, you know, just stay straight forever or go to the gym and work it out, work on it. And then when I lose weight, you know, it goes again. But the reality of this, you're not really focused on hip tips. But when well, we're going to use the hip tips as an example of how to get past it up. So what I did is just learn to love my body. I can't change it really. I could try. But it's not something that can change without plastic surgery. And I don't know, it's, it's just me. It's not my thing. It's not my property. It's not my preference. You know, so I'll stick with my hip tips. And we'll ride on. Ride or die hip tips. That's my insecurity or doubt that I would just have to leave well enough alone. What's your doubt? And what are you going to do about it? Thanks for watching. But stay tuned. I have something for you guys. Newlyweds with me and Kevin McLeod are next. Enjoy! Bye!